Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, Maud Dan from uh, ISTL. I saw the light. Um, just coming to say hi to you all and uh, just see how your, your week has been and um, how your weekend's going. Um, my weekend continues as a work weekend, so I'm, I'm working uh, probably for the next, uh, starting Monday. I'll be working through next Sunday. I'll probably be working 14, 15 days straight, which is fine. I used to have a job that I worked uh, seven days a week, 16 to 20 hours a week, uh, a day, 16 to 20 hours a day, seven days a week. It was, and a couple of times I did all, all night is never went to sleep for like 48 hours. It was, <laughs> talk about your head buzzing, man, that was bad. But um, <clears throat> I want to talk to you about the American dream and the lie that it's become. Now the founding fathers, they had a great idea, but so did... Israel back in the day they had a great idea but it's the human factor um, that uh, messes it up and I don't like that my glasses are reflecting me in the thing so I'm gonna take them off um, so I won't be able to see as well hey you look guys all look blurry in there you guys okay in there Are you sure hey we'll, we'll continue on um, yeah um, just like because if you go back to how the founding fathers thought of this country when they founded it, they called this the New Israel. Um, it was it was faith based, um, probably uh, probably still on the religious side, but they they at least believed in their religion, you know, because um, I, I I separate all religions and even Christian religion from relationship. Okay, Jesus Christ is the only one you have to have a relationship with. There is I don't think there's another religion out there that um, the ask to have a relationship with somebody that you can't see touch or feel um and once you once you know them you you actually can in a way see them touch them and feel them um and you, you'll have that experience for yourself once you you just accept that this is it you know um we're, we're just a simple creation you know um, um the he had to put all of him in us minus the power of God so because he's trying to get something completely different out of this creation that he's never gotten from the, the angels like I said they, they just he could trillions and billions of them just showed up in one shot in an instant you know um, they're just zapped right into place you know we're the only ones that are born the way we are that's why this whole creation everything is born you know, um, one animal creates its own kind. You know, that's why the, the whole thing. God made it as stupid simple as possible. And here we are trying to turn a guy into a girl, girl into a guy. And we call it man doing something. Uh, we didn't do nothing. I mean, what's the third option? You know what I mean? It's like you, you either have an any or an Audi. I mean, it's, and I'm not talking car. <laughs> um... But, you know what I mean? Life's very simple. And back to this, um, the, the American dream is a nightmare. It really is a nightmare. Because what, what, what do you got? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uh, put a shout out to a guy that I, that I watch, um, Timothy Ward. If you don't know that guy, go look him up. He, he uses his name, Timothy Ward. Um, he's, he's, he's a spiritual guy. Um, he believes in a lot of gods and stuff like that. But if you want to know how to get through this life on this planet right now, the way it's run, I, I, he's got some common sense. He's, he's got some basic common sense, okay? It's, it's the afterlife that I'm, the, the, that I'm focusing on as far as I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay um, fixated on that. And if you want to know how fixated I am on it, um, there's a uh, 19, it's called the 1965 Prophecy. You can look that up. It comes right up on YouTube if they didn't take it down. Um, Froth, Frothham, Frosham, Stanley Frosham is the one that did that. It's a, it's a tw 19 or 21 minute um, video, um, um, word from the Lord through this guy. And you, it, it was done in 65. And you tell me, if it's not what we're going through right now, I mean, it, it, I, my, my jaw was on the floor, you know. Um, but this, this American dream, um, and, and, you know, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say what Timothy Ward said too. 
Um, it allows you to get, well, you know, when, when you're a teenager, well, you're, no, you're of no use to the government. They won't even let you work now. Unless you're paying some kind of tax to them, they won't let you work. The mafia does not like the mafia, okay? They, they took down, um, who's the guy? I keep saying he's still holding up the Hoover Dam. Uh, it'll come to me. Ah, it, almost, it was almost there. It, 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 um, ah, I don't forget about it. And it's not Whitey Bulger either. They got him. <laughs> um, but the, this government is the mafia. There's, there's no doubt about it. They, they, you you, you got to pay to play. And then they, they set up all these things. They set up all these little toys. You know, oh, go gambling. Take a chance. And then when you win, you take your money that you pay or pay tax on, you will put it into this building, you, and you take a chance on it. Well, if you win a bunch of money, like my friend just did, he won ten grand. Um, they take like almost four thousand uh, dollars. They already paid tax on that money on that chance to win more money. Why do they get? Why, why does the government always win? Well, because they're the government number one. So I mean, I don't care what you say. Free government, communist government, um, socialist government. Dictatorship government, they're all of the same make. They're all the same person. And, and uh, whatever, do what you want. You, you guys want to own the world, own the world. Go go for it. You know, choke on it. It's all yours. I, I could care less. I'm, I'm going minimalist for that very reason that I don't want to. I'm all set with it all. I, I've chased stuff down 10 times over, you know, and I'm all set. You know, I'm in my friend's house right now, and I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to show you what I did to do. I'm babysitting for him, but come with me for a walk. By uh, by time they get back from vacation, this will all be gone. And I, I didn't even tell them that. So if you guys get this video, say bye-bye to your half and half bluebell ice cream. Where's my finger? I can't. There it is. That is all mine. I just had some of it. It's good stuff. Especially when it's free and you... Um, it's a permanent barrel. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make myself a quick pizza since they're not here to tell me not to. <laughs> I, I love I love free food, um, especially when um, I'm, I'm mooching in their backyard. I'm living in their backyard, so I'm in their house right now. But I gotta pop this in the. Uh, it's not microwavable, but you know what? Everything's microwavable. Sorry about the horrible pictures here for a second. Um, and the uh, Ralph, Ralph Aroni I'm making you guys do. But um, I'm gonna go. What do I gonna do? That was that was hot yesterday. Five, five. There we go. All right, we're good to go. Um, I'll let it cool off in there for a minute or two. But um, you know, this American dream. Well, you're you're given the blessing of a job and a and a, a wife or a husband and uh, you know two two and a half dogs. I don't know how they figure that out. Two and a half dogs, poor poor half dog. Um, you know, they, they want you chasing all this stuff. They want you chasing all this glitter, all this um, bigger, better, faster. Like, you get this car? Oh, not, now you need a newer car. Oh, this car, this car will, will scratch your butt and, and wipe your butt at the same time while you're sitting there just driving down the street. You don't have to worry about nothing. I mean, you know, I mean, it, it, you got to stop. This, this government, this world government, it's all the same people. It's all the same group. And we're not in it. They're just using us. I think they're actually fighting. Um, it's really the banks that are behind it. The politicians are just puppets of the banks. Um, but they're fighting with each other um, for if they can grab more. Um, you, you go back to the bank fights back before, before the 1920s when they created this fiat system for the whole world. Remember, the whole world brought their money, to the United, their gold, to the United States to, to, to sit on it. They felt it was the safest here. Ain't no gold in Fort Knox. I don't care what anybody says. You know who has it? Is that guy that wears that white robe? Uh, the Pope? They said there's a metric, what do they say? Cubic? Ton? Metric? Ton? I'll have to look it up. They, they, it's huge. They said it's like, it's it's a big, He's got, they got all the gold right there. Because, um, you know, their reward's now. That's what, that's what the Bible tells us about your rewards now. You either choose this world and what's in it, and, and you Christians that are chasing stuff, I, w I would be careful. But I'm going to go back to the house that me and my, my late wife uh, had. Um, you know, we, we got the house, and within six months of remodeling it, we, I, I was walking down the hall, and I said it, and I'll say it again. 
I said, this blessing has taken over. I said, this isn't what the Lord wants for us. I don't want to have to go. We're going to have to both get both get jobs to keep that house going. I mean, the um, the flood insurance alone was seven thousand dollars a year. I mean, that's crazy. Seven thousand dollars. I can live on that doing full time RV and and have extra money at the end. I'm like, I'm all set with that. I'm not doing that. So you know, we ended up selling it and, and, and all that. But um, um, but yeah, this this this. American dream is 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 a nightmare for most. I mean, you got people look, look at homeless people in California. We went out to California, horror show. Went down the stars, you know, the street with all the stars and the sidewalk and all that stuff. This just stuff going on everywhere. It's like, what is going? on? Who wants to be with, around all these people like this? Just random. I mean, and we were there at the quiet season, and I'm like, this, nope. I'm good. I am. I can't wait to get out of here. Gas was what? A dollar, almost two dollars more than anywhere else we ever bought gas. I'm like, I'm, we're doing like two tanks here and we're getting out of here, you know? And, um, but yeah, um, this, you, you gotta stop chasing the stuff. This pig is too big for itself. This pig needs to die. You know, this, look, look at, look at the, um, the stock market. You guys are chasing down that stock market? Like, man, there's, the sky's the limit. So's the pit. Pits the destination, and you better realize that. You better realize that you know this. This is not what God had in mind. We've only been living like this the last hundred and thirty years. With, with motorized everything, I mean, it was horse and buggy. But what, 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 the the Wright brothers what, flew a plane right around the nineteen hundreds, eighteen nineties, nineteen oh five, something like that. You know, I'm old, okay. I've been out of history for a long time. I'm gonna do a the Trump hands here, okay? <laughs> like him or hate him, whatever. I mean, I don't, that's on you. You know what? Every politician's a scumbag. The fact they want to be a politician, they're a scumbag automatically, okay? In my book. I, I go with uh, uh, Rebel Capitalist. That's another good guy, too. Um, and he, he, has all, he has a lot of derogatory things about the, um, about the truth, too. And um, it's sad. It's sad. I see. I mean, even at work, I see people that they're, they're they're chasing stuff down like it's oh, I'm, you know, I got my brand new house. It's a trailer. Well, I live in a trailer too, but I don't call my trailer a house. I call it a trailer or a motorhome or an RV. You know what I mean? I get to hook mine up and pull it down the road. Their trailer, they're stuck in that spot. They own the land at a time. Um, or whatever, and you know they gotta do they gotta do the utilities, which is another scam. Um, and gas, natural gas, propane, I don't care who. If you, that, probably mostly natural gas. Scumbags of the earth, okay? Because we had a freeze over here, um, I got charged an additional $500 because we used double the gas we normally would otherwise use in that time frame. So they charged me $500 on a, on a I think, $100 or $200 bill. $200 bill. In addition, five hundred dollars. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a, um, it wasn't a, um, like a fee, you know, three fifty plus. Come on, dude, leave me alone. These people know I'm, I'm, like, you know, in their house eating all their food, enjoying them not being here. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's so quiet in here. You guys are at home. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, yeah, um. You, you wake up, you got to realize what's going on, and I'm, I'm going a little longer than I want. I just wanted to pop out a video on just thoughts I had this, this week. It's just been a busy week, but um, you, you start living life. Stop working all the time, okay? And I, I'm working right now. I mean, I, I just started working in July, so I'm, I'm, getting, my, I'm getting some money locked in because I, I know. I know there's a layoff coming, at, at least for a month, if not possibly longer depending on what this government does but the layoffs because it's going to get cold and we'll just get laid off for a month which will be perfect timing i might even volunteer for the layoff if they do a voluntary layoff um so i can at least collect for the month you know but um i'll, I'll see what happens i, I don't i don't have to collect because I don't, I don't require a lot of money anymore you know um I, and i don't want I, I hate money even on my phone i said the more money the more money you have the harder you're going to have to work or the more money you need the harder you're going to have to work so it, you, you just got to start you're chasing paper, okay? You need Jesus Christ, food, and shelter. 
Jesus Christ never said what kind of food or what kind of shelter. We all think that, oh, I accepted the Lord, now I get all these big, massive, all oh, blessings on this earth. No, 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 no. We had to spread the word. I always, I always, when I first got saved, all right, this video is going to go long, sorry. Um, we're going into 25 minutes here. Um, I know it's only 15 minutes, but my, my uh, Frenchness is going to bring it to 25. Um, but um, when I first got saved, I wondered what I was supposed to do. You know, I was like, what am I, oh, I didn't cook it enough. Believe that? 45 seconds on a freezer, freezer burger, freezer pizza. Um, uh, I'll do 30 one just because I don't like 30 um <clears throat> so um you know when I just say this I say, well what do I do now and he, he, the, the Lord put a word in my head um sorry I made it look better um the Lord put a word in my mind it was um basically just go um I can't think of the word now but it, it, it the feeling I got was basically go tell just go tell other people about it. Don't don't make this whole big. Oh, I gotta build a building. I gotta go study. I gotta, and you do gotta study. You gotta study the word of God. You gotta study. You gotta get behind people that know it. But don't get hooked on the people behind it, because you're gonna slip into religion. And everybody, when you accept the Lord, you will, as a matter of fact, slip into religion for a little while. You it, it, you're just gonna go there. It's just a natural occurrence. Most people stay there. They don't leave it. You know they they. They trust their church, they trust their pastor, they trust this, and they'll, they'll literally go talk to him about what they should do next. Oh, what should I do? Oh, oh, you'll talk to the Lord. If there's no answer, then there's nothing to do. The Lord, the Lord's not not a difficult, not a difficult person to deal with. You know, he's not a. Um, J Jim Carrey said a, a line, and he, he doesn't believe in none of this stuff either. But I'll, I'll give him credit for this line. He said, um, um, "What was the movie? It's when he was." Um, at, um, Bruce, Bruce Almighty, um, when he when he was God for just a, about he just, one street and he couldn't handle it. Um, you know he says uh, you know God's up there just burning our feelers off and all that like, like an ant. They would do it an ant, burn our feelers off and let us squirm. God ain't making us squirm. We're making us squirm. He never said go after all the shit that's gonna cost you more money to maintain. Again, I'll go back to Timothy Ward. He talks about that. Um. I just let go of a bunch of stuff, okay, that I had, that we had. It wasn't everything, but the, most of the stuff we lost because it was in a different spot than we were. And she passed away. I didn't know where it was, so it's, it's gone. It's way gone now. But um, what little we had, you know, her, her clothes and stuff, um, I, I just donated it all. I was gonna, I was gonna sell it. I was gonna sell it on Poshmark or uh, eBay or, um, and, and it, it was dressing me out actually I, I, was, I just put the comment on Timothy Ward about it um that you know I I felt like I accepted the Lord's decision of taking my wife you know um because we were um for whatever reason it just you know um I just had to let the stuff go so I donated it all and it'll go to use. I, I know the Lord is going to put that clothing into the very hand of the people he has a plan for. It doesn't matter what I did with it. I could have thrown it over a ditch. And I had a ditch I could have thrown it in. But I thought, you know what? She's got some nice stuff. I'm going to donate it all. Let them make their paper on it. Let them make their money. Let them do whatever they're going to do. Let, you know, the, the, everybody thinks the Lord's blessed and blessed, whatever. You know, all this, you know, the abundance of money. And then the, you, you got you got people starving on you know, the side of the road in the streets. I should have donated to all the people living in California is what I should have done. But, you know, I, I, I don't have that connection yet. Um... That said, I probably could. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter. I had to do it for me. I had to do it for, for what was going on. I had to unclog my life as far as that goes. And, and that went a long way. I feel a whole lot better about the whole decision. And he said that. And Timothy Ward said that. He said, if you felt bad about it, then maybe it wasn't the right decision. But if you feel release from it, then it was definitely the right decision. He goes, nine times out of ten, you, you'll feel better about it. You know, The devil's going to mess with you on it. The devil's a real guy. He's gonna. Make, he plays right here. He'll play anywhere else, but right here. He doesn't make you do blah blah this that the other thing. Right here, he pops a little thought in your head. Oh, look at that good-looking girl. All of a sudden, you start thinking sexual things about her. A guy just, just you know, mind mouthing kind of, you know. Um, I give credit to that movie for that comment. I don't know the movie's name, but it's in a movie. 
Um, I have no thoughts of my own. <laughs> it's all from a movie or from the Bible or something. So don't worry about me doing any kind of um, uh, plagiarism or whatever. No, there ain't none of that here. I'm just passing on the information. You want to know? You go look it up. <laughs> Let me know where I found it from. That's a good test. If I say something, go look it up and tell me what movie you got it from. I was like, yep, you're absolutely right. That's the movie I got it from. Uh, or, or Bible or whatever, what verse. But, you know, this, we're coming very close to the day that we're going to find out that our money, this cash system, will no longer save us. When What's going to happen when these guys find a way that they, they lock the banks, all the, the bankers, these, these big banker guys, and there's, there's videos out there on that. Start looking this stuff up. Uh, Chase and all these other big old-time guys, the ones that set up this fiat system. Um, Creature from Jekyll Island. Get the book. Look up the YouTube video. That guy, that's a good. That's a good little eye opener. Um, and um, you know, you, you just got to wake up to what's really, really going on. Don't you know? Everybody's a gas with your head in the head in the sand. Most of us are driving around like, who gives a crap? I'm like driving around like, who gives a crap? Because I know the truth now. I'm, I'm the job. I'm gonna show up every day. You know why? They're giving me money. I got nothing to do right now. I ain't doing nothing. I'm gonna sit home and, well, maybe make some YouTube videos, make some easy paper someday. I don't know, <laughs> but it ain't easy paper. But um, you know what I mean. I could, I could, if the content goes somewhere, that'd be fine. Um, if not, whatever. But this is really what I'm gonna talk about. The, the, this, whatever the system is, you have to wake up to what's really, really going on, and it's not, it's not hard to figure out. It's mostly our self denial of what's really going on. We don't want to. We well know the truth. We all know we're being sandbagged, and we don't want to admit it. We nobody wants to look like the ass. Nobody wants to look like the donkey, you know. But wait, when that donkey starts talking here, you better realize we are the donkey, and we are the ones that get sandbagged. This this system is not here for our benefit. This world is not here for our benefit is for our education my, my brother says it he goes you know this is boot camp for what's really going to go on what's really going to happen ain't going to be a man god's in 100 percent control he's allowing all this stuff to happen all your bad habits all your all your whatever's going on in your life god knows it he still loves you in spite of it his problem is not that you're doing that stuff yes he wants you to stop doing that stuff but you can't stop you need to accept his door his way his truth his son and then let it work out of your system in its time. You can't do it any other way. You can do AA until the cows come home. And again, I'll go back to what he told they were, it's, it's. I found that, I got interested in that because talking about um, sobering up. Um, I, I know some people that have drinking problems and, um, or, you know, and stuff in my life. And, um, you know, I, I thought well, it might be a good, um, good guy to listen to as far as how to do it. You know what he says? Because when you fall, you pick up that bottle and you drink it. Don't get mad and go, go on a drinking binge for three months. Just stop. Just stop right there. Realize it. Realize it and just, just get up again. You fall, get up. There's a, isn't there a song? There's a song about that. When you brush your knees off and, and just get up and walk. It, it, you cannot. God's got his hand out. Okay, he doesn't keep doing this. No, you're not coming in today, Dan. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, God, God's hand is out. It's always out. We jump in, we jump out. There's a kid's toys here. I get a little person. Ah, the daughter's got these little little. She talks to him too. It's the funniest thing. Um, let me see if I can find one. Let me see if I can find one. Um, ah, yeah, perfect. Now, similar to my late wife. <laughs> But she had skin as a plastic. Yeah, she was. She was a. She was a, a black woman. Beautiful black woman. Beautiful. That's why I'm on Florida. So why? What happened? But anyways, whole other story. Um, but this is this is God's hand. This is you. Jump in, because in God's free will, He cannot close His hand on you and keep you. His hand has to stay open. So His hand stays open. You are able to jump out. Jump any way you want, at any time. Now, if you're smart, you'll sit there. I had a dream. I had a I had a vision. I had a dream um, 
that I was, what was it? God grabbed me by the shirt. I might get choked up because I always get choked up when I talk about this. But God grabbed me by the shirt like this. And he put me right up to his face. You know, if somebody grabs you and puts you right up to their face. So he had me right in his face like this. And I kept trying to, I kept trying to look away. And he kept moving me wherever, wherever, my, wherever my head would go, he would move his face. His face, right? To, I could never see his face, but I saw. I was looking on. I was looking like I was watching a movie. Okay, if that makes any sense. And I was looking on, and, and I and I kept trying to turn around, and he kept moving me. If I turned my head one way, he would turn. He would he would move me, so I had to look at him. So that told me, do not take your eyes off of God and His plan, and His door. Okay. How what, what he says, he will do. What, what he's trying to do with the human, he will get his result. It's whether or not you want to be part of it or not. Now, you're going to go through some bad word. You're going to go through some shit, okay? You're going to do some major stuff. And it doesn't matter. You hang on. Um, will, will, um, William, um, oh, the guy that just, um, RV, um, the, 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 the comedian guy that did, uh, just, um, um, Killed himself a while back, a few years ago. Um, Will um, Williams, Williams. Um, but I'm drawing a blank on his name too. I just did a, I just did a 12-hour day, so I'm pretty tired. Um, he had a movie where um, 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 his his he- his head had a ring around it, and every time something would happen, his 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 head would separate from his body, and it would go around. It's like a big back black screen. Um, and I, I have to look up that movie too. It was a weird movie, but. I, I saw that in, a, in, in one of my, in one of my um, visions that I've seen. I saw something around my neck. Like, it doesn't matter what happens from here down to you. As long as God's got you, he's got your mind. The devil's going to play here. This is, this is the devil's playground, okay? Your, your head, your brain. He just pops, he'll, he can just pop thoughts in there all day long. He can't make you punch yourself in the head, but if you have the thought and you're convinced you want to do that to yourself, well, yeah, you'll do it. But I mean, you know, but you got, you got to realize the simplicity of the game. The devil, in, it's funny, the devil has to tell the truth too. The devil, if you really look at like songs, oh, what was a song the other day that I was listening to? And I'm like, the church hated this song, hates this song because it was done by an unsaved person. But I tell you what, you listen to that song the devil had to tell you the truth in that song. And then he throws in a whole bunch of fluff to get you sideways and, and all this other stuff. Um, the movie um, Legend of the Fall. Ignore everything in that movie except for what the old man is doing. The father. You watch, you listen to what they're talking about with him. Forget about the love affair. Forget about Brad Pitt. Forget about all that stuff. Watch the movie 15 times if you have to. What the old man says, and right from the beginning. Don't be one of those people that, get, like I did, gotta go get a pizza, gotta go get this, while well, the movie's running. Stop. Watch it. And you, you, you guys are missing so much stuff. I mean, the details and stuff. I, I, I guess I'm a killjoy, because, like, the Hallmark movies, they're all the same movie to me. Uh, somebody's single, had a bad relationship, um, and... Meet some guy that's having a getting out of a bad relationship or whatever, girl, whatever, whoever, you know. But bottom line is, um, two single people having a rough life, whatever. They get together, then something um, questionable happens. They go through this little um, misunderstanding or whatever. In the last fifteen minutes, guess what? They get married, Ooh, or or they're together after that, whatever the hell it is, you know. So like whole my movies are, are like cookie cutter boring. I don't care if it's Christmas, Halloween, middle of the summer, Fourth of July. It's the same same movie. I, I don't watch them, but comedies are the same way. I just, I'm a guy, so I, I, I like stupid. <laughs> I just love stupid. I mean, Dumb and Dumber, oh, man. My ex-wife, she's like, that movie is so stupid. I go, oh, so you get it. She's like, no, that movie was dumb. I go, yes, it's called Dumb and Dumber. She goes, yeah, that's stupid. I go, do you understand it? She goes, no, I don't like it. It's stupid. I go, then you get it. Dumb <laughs> It's like, how stupid can you get? You know what I mean? That's the whole point of the movie. But whatever. Girls don't get it. But the, I guess the girl's like Zoolander. That's another funny movie in its own way. Um, but you know, and Zoolander, you know what he says? Um, he has, has um, um, 
Ben Stiller clanging the thing like the monkeys. That's all, they, that's all, that's all these, these big guys are doing. The unelected, the bankers and all that that are playing. Look at Mitch McConnell. He just caved. What? Oh, my God. I could not believe he caved. I am so surprised Mitch McConnell caved. Again. I mean, come on. I mean, seriously? This is a pile of bunk. This is a big pile of horse pucky on crack cocaine. I mean, these guys are a bunch of clowns. Don't want, they couldn't even back up their own guy to see if he, see if he really won or not. And oh, oh, what? The results are coming? That Oh, he did win? They removed the president illegally and put in, a, put in this AI. And if this, is a, if this is what we got for robots coming out, whew, we're in big trouble. Big trouble. You know, but um, yeah, I, I don't care. It, you you pick your politician, and I'll point a scumbag at you. Okay, these guys are rolling it for themselves. All they're doing is we're, we're electing we're electing them to be a millionaire. That's all we're doing, and then the then they're the puppets for the for the bankers. That's all they are. And um, but y you better hold on to Jesus Christ. You better get close to Him, and it's not difficult. Just say I don't know what this this guy's talking about on this channel, but I accept you. Go get a book. Start reading it. And just don't let the devil confuse you. It's very simple. You can't do nothing. He's going to have to do it all for us. You just have to trust that he'll get you through it. And he's going to run you through some questionable stuff. I, I, I can't, Like I said, I go back to, I can't believe what I went through Um this whole co this whole, I can't say the I can't say the word I guess it's a bad word on on this this whole um this whole winter season we went through for the last year of 2020 um and yet the lord found a way to get me through it you know yeah the way i plan no cuz I, I i i've learned now that i will have no plans anymore i'm not making any plans the Lord's going to guide. This job's here. It might be gone in a week. If, if, if me and the boss don't start getting along, he may say, you know what? Not for nothing. We, we're just not getting along and you're gone. You know? But um, we'll see what happens. Like I said, you know, it, it's, it's here. And I'm, I'm going to start doing the, the seasonal job um, situation. And I want to be able to move around. So if I, if I can get a job out in um, Idaho for a few months, so be it. I'll go out to Idaho for a few months. And I go back to visit the family, you know, and, and I, I can, I want to be able to move around. I don't want to be in one spot. I, I don't want to be anywhere. I want to be everywhere and not like what the mafia guys do. I want to be in one piece, different place all the time. Okay. <laughs> just saying. But on that note, um, just get close with the Lord and, um, just, just try to under, try to understand it. You know what I mean? You, you, it, it, it's simple. There's, you, there's nothing you got to do. There's no, if you do this, you'll be okay. If you do that, you won't be, you know, sorry, my wife, you know, she, she was struggling with, with religion. She really was. And I, I didn't realize it soon enough. Um, but she was like, um, she wouldn't do anything unless she heard from the Lord. Then I said, are you sure you're hearing from the Lord? Because the Lord ain't going to say, hey, Dan, take a left and take a right. He, he, may, he may do something at some point in time with you in your life. Like, hey, I'm going to send you down here. I, I sensed that I was going to go through some crap. I really did. I sensed I was about to go through some major stuff. I had no idea what it was. And thank God I didn't. Because I probably would have... I would have ran away. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would have ran away from myself. Which is very hard to do. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, you know, just... It's simple, childlike trust. I mean, think about a kid. Um, uh, the, uh, my friend's, my friend's uh, daughter, daughter, the little one, she goes... I want to hold you. She's three years old. She can't possibly be pick up an adult. She says, I want to hold you. She puts her hands up. She wants to be held. That's how she says it. And then you pick her up and she's happy as a pig in poo. I mean, the kid's just happy, you know? And um, she just wants to be around them all the time. That's what a kid does. That's what, how we got to be with the Lord. We want to be around them all the time. But he can't always be there. He's always there. But sometimes he, he'll step back. He'll see what you do when, you, when he won't do nothing for you. What will you do when he doesn't do that thing you want? You're going to walk away from him? Or you're going to trust his infinite wisdom? That's 
what you got to do. If he puts you in the pit of hell, will you trust him? That's what you got to do. I did, you know, the church likes to say, oh, I feel like I'm, I'm uh, hanging over hell on a broken stick. Well, God's let the flame touch my rear end too. I trusted him. And I will trust him. I, I got no other place to go. I, I, when, I, when I accept him, I say, I got no other place to go. I see nothing ahead of me. Him and him alone. Him and his son, that's it. God is the creator of everything. Okay, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, the, the Godhead. But Jesus is assigned to be the doorway is how we get in. Okay? It's, it's, it's really simple. Just trust. Simple trust. But I love you guys. I hope it helps. And um, have a great, well, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> See you later.